The impeachment discussion is moving from Capitol Hill to recreation centers and schools across the country. Members of Congress have been holding town hall meetings in their home districts this week. CBS News special correspondent and co-host of The Circus, Alex Wagner, is in Iowa. Alex, lawmakers have been pretty busy during this congressional break. Uh, they sure have. Good morning, Anthony. As those lawmakers are debating impeachment in Washington, they are returning home as well to deal with constituents and make their, ca make their case about why President Trump should be kept in office or taken out. Wow, this happened the last week in Washington. <laughs> Occasional laughter mixed with some contention in central New York's 19th district. This came from a whistleblower complaint. Second hand. That's where freshman Democratic Congressman Antonio Delgado heard both sides of the argument to impeach the president. Identify the exact crimes that Absolutely. you think happened. It is a crime to solicit anything of value from a foreign national. Do you feel like you have your constituents behind you on the subject of impeachment? I don't, you know, I think it's about whether or not we give truth a chance here, right? I understand. I mean, you were here, you were in the room. Um, I think people right. have... You were in the room, too. People have mixed points of view. Yeah. So that's where we are. Doing nothing to me means his behavior gets worse. Four-term California congressman and former Democratic presidential candidate Eric Swalwell talked about the need to move swiftly. If you don't impeach this president, like, what would be considered impeachment? Instead of allaying our concerns, the president and his administration have poured gasoline on the fire. On Staten Island, Congressman Max Rose is among the last Democratic holdouts to come out in support of impeachment in a historically conservative district. We have Republicans who swore the same oath to the Constitution that I did, but suddenly they become deaf, mute, blind whenever allegations against the president are brought up. That's an even greater threat to our democracy. I beg your pardon, but all of our allies, he's pushing aside, he's making fun of them on Twitter, he called well, them Well, and ma'am, I can't speak for him. I know you can't speak for him, but you can speak for yourself. If the House votes to impeach, deciding to remove the president from office will be up to senators like Iowa Republican Joni Ernst, who is up for re-election herself in 2020. Are Senate Republicans talking amongst themselves about their own concerns with President Trump in this moment? Well, I haven't visited with others about their concerns with the president. Have you spoken to president. Leader McConnell? Um, we did have a discussion. He made it very clear that all the information, it'll come forward, it'll go to that Senate Intelligence Committee, and then they will sort through it again in a bipartisan manner. Alex, you get any sense that, that any Republicans are breaking with the president at this point? Well, you know, on Thursday, the president seems to suggest that Mitch McConnell was firmly behind him in all of this. But as you see from Joni Ernst, who is a moderate and vulnerable Republican heading into 2020, the strategy seems to be much more wait and see. You hear her talking about the Senate Intelligence Committee investigation. So that may not be enough to remove the president from office if the House votes to impeach. They need 67 votes in the Senate, which is two-thirds of the upper chamber. But it is a developing story, Anthony. Sure is. All right, Alex Wagner. Thanks, Alex. The fourth season of The Circus continues Sunday on Showtime, a division of CBS. Check your local listings.